Hello, I'm Peter Dowd. Here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS2 travel forecast. Here's Daniel Gersh with a look at the weather. Hey, Daniel. Hi, Peter. Well, we're not expecting any weather-related travel delays as we head into tonight and into your Sunday. Possible to see some delays out toward New York, but across the West Coast, through the South, and up toward the Great, Great Lakes, you should be in good shape. High temperatures as we head into tomorrow going to be in the low 80s here in L.A. Upper 90s in Vegas, low 70s up toward Portland, mid-60s up in Billings. 67 the high in Denver. Notice all this monsoonal moisture still hanging out around the southwest. So high pressure still parked over here, and we have all this moisture rotating around it. So thunderstorms going to be a concern once again tomorrow across the southwest. Looking pretty quiet though as we head down to the Midwest and up the East Coast. As you can see, possible to see some storms through the Florida area tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow in places like Washington, D.C., getting in to the low to mid 60s. Here at home, we do have beach hazard statements in effect until. Until Tuesday. So if you are heading to the beach, be careful. Waves going to be very, very big. We could see sets getting up to about seven feet. Your extended forecast here at home shows temperatures in the mid 70s as we head into your Sunday along the coast. Low 80s for LA and OC metro areas. Valleys in the mid 90s. We are going to gradually start to warm things up though as we head into your Monday and into the work week. Also going to be tracking the chance for mountain thunderstorms each day this week, especially up in the high deserts and in the mountains. So it'll feel much Muggy up there as well. Peter, back to you. All right, Danielle, thanks. Hundreds of children and their families spent the day at LAX learning how to make air travel easier. CBS 2's Joy Benedict shows us kids with special needs got some special help. It was a win for LAX and travelers of all abilities as the airport police opened its doors to get to know those needing assistance. They're part of the community too. Lucia Babb brought her son Ian to LAX. He has autism and although he's never been on a plane, she wants him exposed just in case. Now this is his first time and then he's really excited to see the airplanes going up and down. Just feet from the runway, the airport police set up an informational meet and greet with games, food, and all things police, tactical equipment, and of course, police dogs. They're coming through LAX because they have friends here. They wear uniforms. They're part of a canine team. Those passing through also got advice on dealing with TSA and asking for help regardless of a traveler's abilities. I let people know ahead of time what I, how they can help me if I needed the help and I've not been disappointed. There are wheelchairs if needed, assistance with lines, something many here didn't know existed. And always when we travel in it's disaster, you know, it's hard to control and hard to explain to the people that we have kids with autism that they cannot wait in line. And that's what this event is all about, learning from differences to try and make travel a better experience for all. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News. Now here's your CBS On The Go Sports. NFL fans get excited today because today means the start of the season is almost upon us with the Rams opening up training camp this afternoon at UC Irvine. Fans can watch the team practice and try to snag some giveaways and autographs. And that's your CBS On The Go update. I'm Peter Dow. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com. Be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11.